In second generation form, Audi's S5 has become a far more credible contender in the premium badge performance segment, as before, offered in coupe, cabriolet and sportback body styles. Either way, buyers get a significantly more sophisticated package this time round, one featuring improved Quattro four-wheel drive, a quick-shifting 8-speed sports automatic, and a potent turbocharged 354 PS 3-litre V6 beneath the bonnet. It's still perhaps not the most engaging car of this kind you can buy, but what's been delivered here is a very complete proposition indeed. So, what's it like? Well, if you happen to be familiar with the previous generation S5 model, uh, you'll find that this car feels brisker right from the moment you power away. 62 mph from rest is dispensed with in just 4.7 seconds in both the coupe and sportback versions of this S5, uh, with the cabriolet version taking only a fraction longer. Uh, the car has to be artificially restrained at 155 miles an hour to please the German green lobby. It all comes courtesy of the 354 PS 3.0 litre V6 6 TFSI petrol engine that lies beneath that bonnet, a unit that dispenses with the supercharger used by later versions of the previous generation S5 in favour of a more efficient turbocharger. Now that is one reason why running costs are so much better this time around, uh, with up to 38.2 mpg on the combined cycle and 170 grams per kilometre of CO2 being potentially possible from this coupe derivative. Another thing that's changed with this particular S5 is the transmission. Because the Porsche developed engine now puts out a hefty 500 Nm of torque, that's 60 Nm more than before, uh, the previous model's 7-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch auto gearbox has had to be replaced by an 8-speed Tiptronic unit, but that setup's impressively quick reacting and smooth. Not so good is the steering, uh, it lacks that crucial final end for feel, and the lowered S-Sport suspension will be rather over firm for some, although you can improve that by paying extra for the CDC continuous damper control system uh, that can be tweaked by the various settings of the standard drive select driving dynamic system. Uh, now as well as altering uh, steering weight, throttle response and stability control thresholds, the drive select modes can also influence the optional sport differential system and this constantly varies the amount of drive to each of the rear wheels for extra cornering traction. As ever, Audi's been extremely subtle in the aesthetic changes that differentiate this S5 from any ordinary A5 model. Uh, certainly, if it weren't for the S5 badge work, you'd have to be something of an Audi product expert to tell this car apart from an ordinary S-line trimmed version of that standard A5. As ever, there's the uh, option of either five-door sportback hatch or cabriolet S5 body styles as an alternative to this coupe. And all three variants seize the opportunity offered by this model's sophisticated MRB Evo platform to offer buyers a slightly larger car than before. Time to open this long, wide driver's door. Take a seat inside. Now you need some guidance in the elements that set this S5 model apart because they're not all that easy to spot at first glance. Uh, the three-spoke sport steering wheel is bespoke. We've got the optional R8 style flat bottom one here. And another unique touch lies with these brilliant uh, S Supersport Nappa leather trimmed seats that feature this lovely quilted finish and pronounced side bolsters. Otherwise, apart from lovely Alcantara trimming on the doors and a few elements of S branding, the ambiance is exactly the same as it would be in any plushly specified A5 model. Uh, the optional virtual cockpit replaces the entire instrument binnacle with a 12.3 inch LCD colour monitor and that has a layout that's fully digital and customizable with smart 3D graphics and highly detailed effects. Anything this setup can't tell you will almost certainly be covered by the slimline MMI infotainment display that dominates the top of the dashboard. Uh, it's 8.3 inches in size on this model because Audi's top MMI Navigation Plus with MMI Touch system is a standard part of this S5 specification with its crisp 3D maps and responsive NVIDIA graphics. Let's take a seat in the rear. Buyers in search of a two-door design tend to transport adults in the back very infrequently, but when the need does arise, this S5 coupe can improve a little on the claustrophobic quarters provided by some of its closest rivals. Finally, let's take a look in the boot. It's gained 10 litres in size with this second generation model's longer design, and it's now the largest in the segment at 465 litres. 
In summary then, the S5 in this guy seems finally to have found the right balance between speed and sensibility. If we had to own a car for a week from this segment, well, this wouldn't be the one we'd choose. If we had to choose one to live with though, it'd be difficult to resist. Audi's S badge has always delivered a special experience. Now, it's a properly sporting one too.